Hello, everyone. This is OCN Live. Great. We're back from the studio because they, they just wanted to get rid of me for a little while. Yep. And that's, that's sort of what happens. But welcome to Thursday. I am Josh. I'm Evan. Saying hello, welcome, and here we go. I know a lot of you have been asking me where Evan has been. Yeah. And he has been off doing other crazy yeah, secret projects. Trying to do other stuff. I, mean, I know. And then let's yeah. be honest. The only star and of the Pam's show better is on the show us. anyways. Yeah, she, yeah she's yeah. really good at what she does. But sometimes, you know, we've got to change it up. And they we see try. me all the time, which people absolutely love and adore me. I know who my fans are because you send me email. We should get a but, P.O. box and let people send stuff to you. Yeah, we That'd should. That'd be kind of cool. We should do that. Yeah, maybe even set up our own email address here yeah. so you can send us cool photos, things going on in your world. But whatever it may be, we can open like up it. whatever, like, go through our, bring our P.O. box. Oh, yeah, we could it. have mail day. Yeah, mail days. So we could do that. That would be Fan wicked mail. cool. Just open it up and be like, oh, look, that one we can't show. It's like two Christmas hams. Shoot. Yeah. Put that away. Yeah. Maybe we should think that one through it. before we go too yeah. far. I'm cool with it. All right, man. So I've got four See, crazy. I was told you have a new format on how you do this. I like, do. I'm not allowed to look at the article. No, now. no. He used to look at it, but I want to get his take on what he's thinking uh, about because he's kind of like you guys in that when you read the story, you kind of, you know, so have you're gonna, an idea you're gonna, what's going you're on. You're going to read me off the title, kind of give me a. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Or you're going to. Okay. Let's I'm going to read uh, off the title um, and then I'm going to read you a bit of the story. And then I just want you to get your comments, reactions, thoughts, feelings, whatever it may be. Well, I'm I want you to throw at me. This is a Krispy Kreme one, right? It could be. It could be. So, you know, it's hard not, you know, when we have them in the background like this. But do you know what kind of Krispy Kreme donut that is? I'm going to assume it's a gingerbread eggnog. And that's just Very really close. <laughs> that's really good. That's really close. All right. I so, love eggnog, man. Oh. Like eggnog. Like, Dude, how oh, close is a Krispy Kreme mm. to us? Can we can we roll over there today and yeah, get a dozen? Yeah, it's like 10 minutes away. All right, let's do this. All right, but anyway. Krispy, if they got them, usually they sold out by the 10 o'clock. Well, they have a fr I don't know. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Krispy Kreme's gingerbread donuts are back. For a limited time. Is it going to be like Shrek and then like as you eat it, it's going to yell at you? No, not right. the goodie. Don't eat me. It's terrible. My eggs. Yeah. All right. So gingerbread, cheesecake filling, and I'm glaze. Good. The taste of the holidays is captured in this round nugget, nugget. of pure goodness. It doesn't look like a nugget. It looks like a donut. Listen, it's the writers, man. It's the writers. <sighs> All right. Now Fired. through December 24th, you can stock up on your on the yummiest of holiday treats from Krispy Kreme. Why the 24th? Maybe I want it through uh, the new year. Hello. Let's write him a sternly worded letter. It's only a week. Extend it until January 1st? 31st. We'll 31st. Stop on 31st. All right. The first, then we got firecracker right. cookies. Or All right. So now through December 24th, you can stock up on the yummiest of holiday treats from Krispy Kreme. If they're classic fresh glazed... Yeast donut isn't enough. Krispy Kreme has brought back all of their favorites to help us celebrate the holidays. Like this one. Like this one. Absolutely. But there's also Santa Belly. A jolly Santa Belly donut filled with chocolate cream, dipped red icing, and sparkling sugar, and a hand-decorated belt. Is it sacrilege that I don't like chocolate in or on my donuts? Get out of this show. No, I'm, like, I'm more of a glazed or jelly-filled. I don't I, like I, cream, and I don't like chocolate. My favorite is just the standard glazed Krispy Kreme donut hot off the belt. Yeah, when you oh. watch it like fall off and then yeah. you know, just, like, yeah. and you can just shove the whole thing in your mouth one bite and then yeah. drink coffee to go with it. Their donuts are teeny though. That's okay. I can eat twelve. Mm. Eat a dozen by myself. But All I right. like ice once with the next donut. Let's let's keep going. Right. Present it's called the present. A donut dipped in green icing and filled with sugar cookie cream, decorated with an icing ribbon and a nice sugar piece. I don't know what that is. Sugar cookie cream. Sugar cookie cream. Yeah. Uh, okay. I don't know what's in there. All right, and then the last one. Festive tree. A donut dipped in delicious cream tree kink. <laughs> Cream cheese icing filled with red velvet cake batter. Oh, heck yes. Ugh, no. That's my favorite. And hand decorated with a beautifully lit Love tree topped velvet. by a star. And if you want to see this, just go ahead and click on the link that I'm I provided, and it'll look. take you right there. Yeah. And then tell us what your favorite donuts are. But donuts. that's the first one. All right. So All this right. next story. Oh, gosh, man. All right, here we go. Story number two. Absolutely. Still so? Huh? We still doing four stories? Absolutely. Oh, okay, cool. All right. This next one. What does it look like to you? It looks like a lazy Like a person. mobile chair. That's right. So here's the holiday shopping guide. Nine like weird backpack. items. Look at that backpack. That's pretty right. dope. It is. But it's sitting on item. a portable seat that attaches to your legs. So that you could take your office with you. That's right. If I saw I someone walking around with this strapped to the back of them, I don't know right. if I'd be like, that's cool. Or like, what the heck's wrong right, with right. that dude? So the first one is the sign whiting circular skates. Look at that. That's kind of cool, actually. I could do that. You see me rolling around the yeah, office. Yeah, yeah. Available from Hamacher and Schlamer. Okay. They're futuristic sidewinding circular skates that are touted as postmodern skateboard, post and they will absolutely be... You were a skater, right? I was a skater I mean, until I broke those? both my arms, and then I was like, okay, it's not worth it anymore. Seriously? Yeah. Ouch. Yeah. Ouch. And one was one summer, and one was the next summer, so I had two right. summers of, like, no skateboarding. The next one is what you see behind us. It's called the Lex Wearable Bionic 
chair. Yep. And for real, y'all, look at this. I mean, look. Yeah, it's, I don't know. It's I wouldn't do it. It's I, a chair. I don't, I don't know. And it goes with you. That means at the bus stop, what? I mean, how do you walk around with this thing? It's like spider legs. I don't know. Like uh, Dr. Ock, that's what it kind of looks like. Yeah, right? It just makes it look like you're an android or something weird. Yeah. And then, oh, man, I almost went on to the next story without clicking the next one. Would you buy that one? I mean, would you wear, I would would you wear a chair? I would, would you skates, wear a chair? I would do the skates, not the chair. Right. Not at all. So the next one is the Fisher Space Zero Gravity Pin. That's right. Zero Gravity Pin. Oh, those are yeah, dope. Yeah, those are actually pretty cool. Not that I would be riding right. upside down, but they but are yeah, pretty cool. Yeah, I was gonna, doesn't it work is it under, pressurized? Does, I think so. I think it works underwater. Or but is it, it, it writes reliably under extreme conditions, over fingerprints, over grease, extreme cold, extreme heat, over wet paper, in a vacuum, or at any angle, even upside down. The product description states the pin is almost indestructible. That's kind of cool, actually. Uh, Just to have. Would you do it? I mean... I would have one. $25 for a pin is really not that bad. It I've would be a signing cell for a couple hundred bucks. Important purposes. Right. Oh. 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 Do you know who Zoltar is? Uh, I don't. Do you ever watch Big? No. All right, so Zoltar. I'm not seen him big. in a bunch of insurance commercials. There he is right there. That's right, Zoltar. Yeah, no, so, I'm good. Yeah, yeah. It, it's basically just unless it was a, funny a, and said goofy things. A, to me. A, uh, this also comes from Hammer and Schlammer, and basically just tells you what your future is in this giant box. It only costs nine thousand dollars. Yeah, no, nine grand. If someone's going to spend nine grand on me, it? it better be like a computer of amazing proportions. This last one I'm going to leave you with wow. because. I know you want it. It is the Nicholas Cage Heck yes. pillowcase. I love me some That's Nick Cage. right. You can move the things up and down. The sequence. And then boom. Oh, man. Come right. on. It's sequence. Love sequence. And then it's right. Nick Cage. So what is the craziest gift you've gotten someone for the holidays? That I've gotten someone yeah. for the holidays? Like, uh, I, yeah, I don't think I've ever done anything crazy. Gift buyer. Me too. Because, like, I want to be, like, spontaneous. I don't want to buy something that someone's yeah. already expecting. But then I'm like, oh, shoot. Like, what do I actually get? And then I end up overbuying. Mm. I don't know. Right. Craziest thing? I don't know. I was going to tell you what I got my wife for Christmas, but she That's watches this. So so I'm not going to spoil Christmas so, for her right away. I will say I hate Amazon because my wife was looking up to, on Amazon to see where some of her packages were. And she saw what I bought her. Thanks, Amazon. Yeah. I think she did that on purpose, man. And so she's I kind of looked at her. She's messing like, with you. You knew what you were walking into. Right. Like, it's don't not mad my at fault me. you know what you got. Right. She's like, well, are you still going to at least wrap it? And I was like, mm, I don't know. No, right I'll now just I'm just going to put it under the tree. Here you go. Say, Merry you Christmas. Go. Hope you had a great Since time. you already know. This next one kind of scares me. Are those gummies in pickles? Oh, it's more than this. That gummy flavored pickles? Gummy yeah. bear flavored pickles have finally gone too far. Okay. Unsurprisingly, people describe them as tasting exactly like gummy bears and pickles. So there's that. I don't know. Right. Maybe if you're snacking, but I couldn't put this on a burger. If you love gummy bears and you be love okay. pickles, then this is the treat for you, maybe. The family-run, Texas-based one-stop pickle shop is out there coming out with mind-blowing flavors that are kind of a big deal. Uh, big deal. <laughs> uh, who wrote that one? Yeah, oh, funny. yeah, good old Becky. Yeah. She's good at what she does. I like her. Its offerings run the gamut of garlicky peppercorn pickles to chili lime dills, which all seem See, pretty those normal. Sound great. But this year they have gummy, bear. gummy bears. Are gummy flavored yeah. pickles? Gummy yeah, no. bear flavored pickles? No, thank you. I don't know, ma'am. I could see some. You just take gummy bears and soak them in pickle juice, and you get the same thing. I see somebody coming on OC and Eats saying that they found a place to put the gummy bear flavored pickles on a hamburger somewhere. I mean, they would do it. Depend, what like it would have to be a very specific type of burger to make it. Yeah. Work. Oh yeah. 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 It, like you couldn't do that with blue cheese. It'd have to be a fancy, like one of those crazy fancy burgers yeah. or something like at a Crave Burger where you would like you know, jelly instead of mayonnaise. Yeah, right. 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 And it'd probably have some like weird jalapeno spicy stuff. But Ooh, eh, now you're kind of talking. This might not be a bad idea. You never know. Are I mean, they sugar-free gummy bears? <laughs> <laughs> no, that'd be bad. Probably not. That'd be terrible. Either way, if you want to order those, you can just click on the link I provided, and boom, we'll show you how to get them. I mean, First. that'd make a fun last-minute gift if you can get them in time. Could you imagine the look on someone's face when you open it and they go, pickle-flavored gummy? Gummy bear-flavored bear, pickles. Gummy bear-flavored pickle? Yeah. I don't know, man. I don't know. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at the puppy. Look at the little Jack It's Russell wishbone. Turd. That's right. Is it's that rim wishbone? shot. It's wishbone. Who's Wishbone? Rim Come on, you don't remember Wishbone? Who's Wishbone? He was Wishbone. That was the name of the show. I don't even know what Wishbone okay, is. Now I gotta get out. I am old, too old to know Google what Wishbone. And we gotta I think Wishbone. he's Rim Shot from all of the Ernest movies, like Ernest True. goes to jail, Ernest scared stupid, Ernest Go, goes to Ernest camp. Goes to jail is the best Ernest. It is. And rides. I don't know. Ernest, Ernest goes to brother. camp is the best Ernest. Uh, no, Ernest like goes to camp. It's the original. It's the funny. No. 
Yeah, it's hilarious. No, 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 no. Ernest Saves Halloween is the other fun one that I like. I miss Jim Wish Barney. Wishbone the dog. Right here. I, the no, show was called Wishbone. Shot. Look, he, he was a secret detective, and he could talk. What year did that come out? Because Wishbone, I was probably the Jack already... Russell Terrier can do just about anything. Whatever. Wishbone was awesome. I don't even know 1995 what... to 1997. Well, our article's actually about the four best dog sweaters to keep your pooch warm this winter. That's right. So first off, dogs already have a built-in sweater. So I don't understand. Oh, come this. on, man. You know, I, I, no, yeah. I'm not. Okay. I have got a lab and she loves the snow. I am not putting her in a sweater. I'm going to show you one of the ones we have. If you want to see I all four of them, silly. you have to click on the link. Go to our website. It's for but people the first one. who love their fur babies more than their own children. Oh, my gosh. All right. So check this one out here. I'm going to put it over top of us here. This is the knit plaid jacket. It's only $39.93 from Land. $39. $39. That's what I was thinking, too. What? I was like, maybe 15 bucks. But if my dog's wearing nicer clothes than I am, yeah. what the heck? But anyway, that one is it comes with a Sherpa lining and a faux fur collar. This jacket is all about the details, a Velcro strap. How, how does he feel wearing fur? Uh, he's, it's faux. It's faux. Still, he, he, he does not wear in fur. I'm, man, he's a dog. You're just going all kinds of places with this today. He licks his own butt. Yeah, I've actually seen them eat treats out of the cat box, too. Yeah. Sometimes the cat will leave the dogs. It's like candy for them. Oh, yeah. it's awful and gross. <laughs> but there's nothing. You're like, and then they want to come over like, oh, I love you. And you're Shut like, up. oh, no. Oh, that's a poopy kiss. Yeah. No. Dogs are great animals, but they make questionable Don't food Don't they say decisions. that their tongue is actually like the cleanest spot on their body? Might be. Yes. I'm not going to put it to the test. Yeah, no. I mean, especially after they go to the... The treat box. Then they overeat. They throw it up. They eat it. They throw it up again, right. and then they eat it. That's totally happened. Yeah, actually, I've seen that happen too. Or right, one dog throws up, and the other runs Next right over. Like, I don't know what you got rid of, but I want some of it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so gross. Uh, at least when my cat throws up, she tries to cover it up and runs away. Uh, Cats yeah. are funny. It's like the the hairball stays in one spot, and their body moves around it. Wah, 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 wah. <laughs> You've heard it too. You've heard it, and you notice that noise. Wah. Oh. <laughs> you know, like, oh. That's like sound that will wake anyone out of an the, coma. Right. I have been dead asleep and I start hearing whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. And it's like, oh, you know, if get off bag, the bed. You could be in full on deep, deep, deep oh. sleep. Oh, yeah. In the, the best dream of your life. Vomit. will always wake <sighs> you up. Right. And it comes out. No, 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 It no, doesn't no, come no, out no. slow. Right, right. Into You're trying the to move like, oh, oh, kitty. Yeah. And it doesn't come out slow. It's like this rocket yeah. that comes out. And it's always a perfectly shaped what? hairball. Yeah. yeah. My cat also throws. He eats too much. Oh, I was just about to go. Like into he that. loves to go outside. Mm -hmm. And he's very, he's very, actually very thin for a cat because he mm -hmm. loves to go outside and have a ton of fun. But then when he comes back in after his long day of exposure, he just overeats and then throws it up. Uh-huh. And then the dog is like, oh, free food. My cat will run up so. to the bowl. She'll eat, go and throw it up. And then she'll walk right back to the bowl and be like, yo. Fill it back up. <laughs> I'm like, hmm. You got a problem. Right. She does yeah. have. She's got a problem. Guys, if you like what you've seen here, you should just go to our community now. Dot com. And read all the stories that we have for you. We provided leaks and all, links and all that fun stuff. Also, we have a YouTube channel. If you didn't know. Oh, we do. That's right. We do. And you should yeah. go there. Because right now, the best thing we've got going on there is the 10 best Xbox holiday gifts you should be getting someone. Starting this man right here. I'm going to be putting together one here since really it's kind of hard. Mm -hmm. I mean, you might be able to with Amazon yeah. get some gifts in on time. Yeah. Ooh, but at this yeah. point, we got to do some last minute, like, I'm going to Walmart and shopping kind of gift. Yeah, because now you got to go in person because as I put out yesterday, if you don't have it coming in from Amazon, I think by the end of this week, yeah. or if you're trying to guaranteed. send it to somebody, you need to have it in by tomorrow, depending yep. on the carrier. With some, like the US uh, Mail, they're like, backed uh, up so bad right now. Oh, my gosh. Dude, I have, like, right. four packages that are three weeks late already. Yeah, we were waiting on a T-shirt for someone. I'm not going to say who in our family. We ordered it on the 3rd, and it still has not arrived. Yeah. And it's like, what the heck is going on, Postal Service? You've got a monopoly on first-class mail? Yep. They do, and they can't get packages out. But it's weird. Some stuff I've ordered, like, recently have already yeah. gotten to me, but stuff I ordered a couple weeks ago still says out there. it's in transit somewhere. Right. It's like, where, where, where's where did the city? it go? Warehouse somewhere? Yep. And that's the, the craziest part about it. So nothing I, says Christmas like Amazon. Actually, yeah. yeah it's, it's become that way for just about everybody. Yeah, every time I see the truck pull up, I'm like, what did you buy now? <laughs> right. What Did you order I something? I don't want to see the credit card bill this month. Right. Or the other thing was, like, if I order it and I forgot about it, it shows up. And I'm like, I don't even remember ordering. I do have this. a couple of packages that I'm like, I haven't opened yet because I'm like, I don't remember what I bought. Right. And I'm afraid to look. Yep. Because... 
Anyway. I know this is for you. Hey, buddy, what do you want for Christmas? I don't know. I've literally been I putting things know. like a new like polo or yeah. like disc golf. Ooh. See, I tried buying you clothes, nice things, and you just don't wear it. So I am fat. Okay? We know it. I'm sorry, I thought you were a skinnier person. No, well, thank you for fit. that. You are the best. <laughs> it's probably the best compliment I think he's ever given me. That's actually a cool sweater. I do like it. What, this one? Yeah. This is a, you know where this is from? I want to say L.L. Bean. Yeah! How'd you know? And that was straight out of yeah. my... No, that's L.L. Bean I pulled all the way. that right. I love me some L.L. Bean. Slippers, but it just looks like vest. something L.L. Bean Yeah, with. absolutely. I love L.L. Bean. You know how Bean. I know you're old? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, absolutely. I worked at the Bean. I loved the Bean. I was their outdoor discovery school coordinator. True. You did do a lot there. Absolutely. It was yeah. a lot of fun. They got rid of that program. It is really sad. L.L. Bean, bring that back. They were... They were when I was growing up, the quintessential, like, if you were a kid yeah. in the 90s yep. and you had an L.L. Bean monogrammed Back. backpack, you! you were legit. Absolutely. Then Abercrombie and Fitch became the thing. Oh, my wife still has her L. L. monogrammed yeah. They L. L. were good. Backpack. They were good backpacks. Red. Absolutely. My and favorite is the slippers. Dude. Oh, yeah. The no. chukas. Oh, best slippers ever. Then they partner with all those different car manufacturers so you can get the Ford Explorer LL Bean edition. Which is kind of weird. That? I thought it was uh, Eddie Bauer. They had both. Really? They yeah. had an LL Bean car? They had the Eddie Bauer, remember that? Right. But they also had LL Bean. I love the Bean. Yeah. Uh, it was that nice plush trim package. Absolutely. Do you yeah. know how much LL Bean clothing I have? I don't want to know. A lot. <laughs> A lot. Well, when it costs next to nothing when you work there. Not really, but you do get a discount. But instead of paying $80 for right. that sweater vest, you pay 50. I mean, you're like, eh, actually, this was a return that someone showed up with one day and I was like, I love this thing so much. It's going home with me. So I brought it right in there. Yeah, and I think it was like 70 bones or something like that. Even then it was, it was, it's wool on the inside. Is it real wool? Yeah. Or is it faux wool? No, it's actually the real deal <sighs> because that's how they roll. Guys, don't forget to go to our community now.com and look at the weird, the sad, the glad, the strange, whatever it may be. We have that stories. For you, and in the near future here, the website is going to be so full of stories that you're going to have all kinds of stuff to read Oh yeah, forever. We're finalizing some updates. It's going to be amazing. Yeah. This guy right here helped lay oh, that out, well, and I, I'm just telling them everything that's going wrong with it Yeah, so they can fix it. That's partially why I haven't been here in three weeks. Yeah, I know. You I didn't want to say anything, but, you know. Many. Guys, thanks for sticking around for the Thursday show. We enjoyed having you here. Stay warm. It's supposed to snow in Colorado here tomorrow. I know a bunch of you are in other places. If you're on the East Coast, I'm so oh, sorry. That storm. Oh, that Nor'easter sucks. Jersey. Right. Look, my buddy's out there right now. Yeah. Two feet. Yep. In less than 24 hours. We have friends in Long Island who are like, the snow's up to the door. And it's like, oh, my God. And it's cold. It's that off the ocean cold. And it's not going away. No. It's, That's yeah. going to stick around for the rest of People the People say Colorado's cold. <laughs> no, no. No, if you've never been it's to the snow off of the ocean. Ooh. Even off to, like, the lake. Yeah, in Michigan. Lake <laughs> right. I think it's cold. Upstate New York, mm -hmm. near Buffalo, where all that stuff goes. Ooh. Ooh. Anyway, thanks for sticking around, guys. I'm Josh. I'm Evan. Saying, have a great day, everybody. And as always, definitely get some L.L. Bean. <laughs>